G'day, welcome to, uh, what would this be, session 46 of uh, Oxygen Not Included. Um, and thank you again for the feedback on the previous one. Now, the first thing that I will do, and I did, um, someone did mention this, and I, I was thinking about it since I last played too, and I, I wholeheartedly agree, is that I have made a bad choice in moving these guys up. Basically, if the Oxygen Skimmer is going to do its job, then those three guys are going to die while they're up there. So... What we should do is we should relocate the oxygen skimmer. Um, now let me just check its plumbing route. So possibly what I need to do is just put it up on a shelf. Say over here. Maybe up here somewhere. So let's put two tiles here. We actually might make them airflow tiles as well just so that he's not... Uh, limited to, to anything below him. Two tiles there. We'll copy him, place him there. Uh, we will then take his power cable. And well, I suppose what we'll do is we'll just take his power cable from there, do that. Uh, and what we will do is... Uh, Plumbing-wise, we will... The liquid bridge we'll copy and we'll put there uh, and what we'll do is run that liquid pipe straight down here we'll then it's the liquid plumbing overlay it's finally started operating so let's I suppose with this one here, what we can do is we can pump that up. It's good to know that that is polluted water, that we were right there. So I guess you've pumped there because you've now seen that there's that, that exists. We actually don't want you in here, so let's, uh, let's get rid of him. Let's deconstruct him. And then we will go back and look into those pipes. Uh, we will deconstruct that one piece of pipe. That. We'll leave that there for now because oh, I suppose it's just going to fall into polluted water at the moment anyway. The liquid pipes across there we can deconstruct too. But otherwise... Um... Sorry, let's turn off that. No liquid output. Yeah, so basically it's just still waiting for that tubing to get done. I don't need cost sandstone, so we should have tons of it. Um, now we do have polluted water that's we've, I guess, caused to spill all over the floor from that guy. So let's get that whole bottom floor cleaned up. And we will... Sweep that up. Copy these and we'll put them back. One, two, three. Deconstruct him. Him and him. Right, now another thing to address was Ashcan's room. Um, because it's starting to fill up with a little bit of chlorine, a little bit of carbon dioxide. We don't want too much chlorine in there. And you can see he's sort of busting out of his bedroom to, to suck in some air. There's a lot of carbon dioxide at the bottom there. Now, his gas vent should be pushing oxygen in there, but obviously what it's doing is it's more pushing oxygen north. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just change that to a standard tile um, and we will finally put a ladder in here we'll dig out these four and we will put the airflow tile a bit more this way so it actually gives the oxygen a chance to push into that room before it pushes out 
Now, in terms of the carbon dioxide in the bottom of that, it's tricky because if I put a hole in the floor, it's just going to act access him into this section that's got hydrogen in it, which we also don't want. Um, what we need is we need the carbon skimmer to be done and our planner boxes to be back with our oxyphones. Did I get a fourth oxyphone? Where did that come from? That's not one of the three that this... Oh, is this counting as one of the three? Is that one of the three? Let's find out. Cool. There we go. I just wanted the three. They didn't just have a weird oxyfern baby and leave it on the ground. Okay, so they're now below that, so that even if that skims carbon, that it, uh, the carbon dioxide, these guys should at least still be able to breathe below it. But he can address everything going on above that, and, and hopefully Ash, Ashkin's issue. The transit tube. Uh, another thing pointed out was that I have built the transit tube wrong, and what I need to do is it's the way that I've done it is similar to if I was building a, a wire cable like this, and that I actually need to um, need to drag them into each other. So thank you for that that observation. Like that. That's how they should look. Got 100 kilos of plastic, it costs 50 kilos to make each one of those, so there's no point in jumping on anything yet. Uh, polymer press is the other thing that I'm looking at in this one. Now, the polymer press, one recommendation that was made was that it should be built in a cold biome because it heats up very quickly. Uh, someone actually did point out too that this was overflowing. They, they put it as a late comment on a, on a previous one. And yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Um... What should we do to address the size of this thing? I need overflowing. Now potentially what I could do is I could lower this floor here. But what that would cause is that if this ever got really low, then this guy wouldn't actually be able to um, recover from it. Um, like, sorry, he wouldn't be able to recover the water that's sitting down here. Essentially, that water would just be sitting in excess with no actual other other duty. And that's the reason that I do like the depth that this currently sits at. And there's no way that I can manipulate this that I can, say, have it raised higher on this side and it will fill this side and then sort of come to a to a shallow side on that, that edge, I don't think. So, I mean, I don't know if I just have to let it be for now. I, potentially what I could do is I could get rid of that tile and that tile. Well, probably that tile. Just because then they could just sort of hop across the top of it. And that would add an extra square of available sort of space. I mean, there's, there's just this little oxygen pocket here too that's causing an issue. I could make these airflow tiles, I suppose. Um... Does not obstruct liquid or gas flow. So, I mean, potentially what I could do is just make this all mesh. Um, and the idea is that it just allows this water. That one, we probably want to cancel that because we actually do want the, that to stop, stop water. Possibly what that would mean then is that the water will just flow into those squares too. See how that, if that improves it at all. And what it should allow is these pockets to get out. Um, with that in mind, if I got rid of this set of stuff here, so if we say, sent someone over here to dig, cancel that one, those, and then slowly work their way back, but each time they, they get rid of some of that, I can then go ask them to get more. Um, it's that egg down there. I wonder if I should go save him. Thank you for the explanations on what to possibly do to save the, the Paku, but I think that possibly they could be too much work. Um, but let's have a quick look at a... Um, 
nothing in him at the moment, right? So I can say cancel. So we'll hold the fry egg. So can I put these underwater? Is that what I would be doing to, to sort of save that fry egg? Or actually no, what I would do is if I go, um, if I go back to the stone hatchling, what I could do is it would be that I make a storage bin. Put him there. I haven't seen these guys moving much recently. Are they still in operation? This hasn't capped out because that's still. That should still be functioning, but I mean, there's not like anyone's using this water anyway, but I just don't feel like I'm seeing water move in this at all. I mean, I suppose if I sat here and waited another five minutes, I'd find out. Just jack the priority on that. Just while I'm in here waiting. Hey buddy, what are you doing in here? Oh, it looks like they've done all the wiring too. No, not yet. Oh, it's just because I'm not looking at it because it's, I guess it's hidden. Uh, how's that? Input. Oh, there's my mistake. I need moving around. Alright, so he's now in operation, but he'll start pushing some liquid. So I can clearly see that he's not sending as much fluid back as what he's using. It means that this will go down a bit more again. Okay, so this storage bin, we only want to do for critter eggs named fry eggs. Now if I'm... I, I believe all I would have to do is... Just go find those particular fry eggs. Sad news is that a couple of them just opened. So we can't do anything about those poor guys. It's funny that polluted water is more what I'm lacking than, than clean water. Almost to say that this process here isn't worth it. If that water's not going anywhere and this is this stopped operating for... Whatever reason, let's just speed things up real quick here. And let's find out if this actually is operating still. I don't think it is. Yeah, see, nothing's pumping. So this should have the green light, that should be pumping, but it's not. Um, it, I mean, it really doesn't matter. Like I said, I, this is my current problems is this is overflowing. And cool, you can see that that has helped a bit, that now it can just sort of flow up and around that. Um, that's overflowing. And... Um, by the way, there is a gap. This this hole here means that there is a gap between uh, into my base from the outside world. So let's put a, a manual airlock there as we dig these out.
the other same feedback I got was uh, don't worry about space travel just yet. So we'll gladly take that one on. Right, so I had to go through the whole process of getting petroleum in order to get my plastic. That's right. Disappeared and just become a plug. We can put him somewhere real cold over here. I feel like we've got to get petroleum operating before we have him in operation. There was a door as well we were looking at a little bit. This door. That's just one of those. Now I've got another one of those down here, don't I? So how do they work? Self-sustaining machine powered by what appears to be neutronium. It absorbs and neutralizes heat energy and provided with hydrogen. Alright, I guess that's my, my first question for this one. What does it do? Uh, does it do anything that's worthwhile? Should I have hydrogen working its way up there? Well, let's revisit the, uh, the oil biome. So crude oil, so... Uh, was it refinement? Oil refinery converts crude oil into petroleum. So, I'd say that's something that we want to do. I assume we want to make it with gold. And... Question of where we would want to do this. I assume we don't want to travel too far. But I mean, the petroleum's going to have to make the journey back up anyway, right? Let me um, get out of that, that page. Right, so there's a cold biome right here. So, let's... Let's try and build this as a little area to, to have some, some stuff set up. So we'll make, try and just clear out a bit more space here, and we'll give it a, a proper floor. And really what I should do is try and put a pole that, that runs, say, alongside some of these. One is inspired to up that through. This bit here is a bit trickier because we cut through into the water if we we shift one square one way or the other. And we do have so there's currently nothing in there. That egg is now gone. Yeah, no real way to recover. Those guys should have getting them all the way down here. I'm sorry, little baby Paku fish. This is a sad way to go. Let's try not to dwell on that too much. 
Okay, so with our refinement, we'll put an oil refinery here. And we'll put a polymer press there. Now, I assume that also what we would want to do is then have a few places for storing... Um, storing the petroleum, which I assume would have to be... Is that a liquid storage? Or if I just sort of have them in buckets, can I then put them in <laughs> in a cupboard? I'm very glad to see these two guys not operating. Uptime this cycle. So it's down to about 33%, so that's good. It's our uptime of our two hydrogen guys, because see, he's currently idle. 41%. So these guys aren't as active as... Like, oh. We get that out of our important air room. Let's just clean up everything in there. It does look like oxygen is restored to Ashcan's room. I don't know if there's a certain point that I should turn the carbon skimmer off as well. Let these guys sort of do the, the continued work. Maybe if it gets down to... I suppose I could put an automation something in, couldn't I? Gas element sensor. So, I mean, that's sort of oxygen there anyway. Let's just put one in and see what it's, uh, what requirements we can give to it. So it would be... Generally we don't want to put it below it. And I mean that constantly flicks between the two. We want somewhere where it's just not sitting. I mean, you can see all of these are flicking over to... Maybe let's go that one that's holding pretty pretty constant. So if we put a gas element sensor there, we'll just wait to see what it, it comes back with. It's our options. Someone's got a little start on that. Okay, then obviously the other thing that we're gonna have to do is get liquid and it needs liquid, that might be too much effort to get all the way down here. Should move it back up. I mean, the pipes go, go all the way to here. Oh, this pipe's all the way down to here, actually. That's a gas pipe, and that's power. What's going on there? Gas output. So it's. Uh, we want it to show green. No, we want it to show. 
We want it to show green when it detects carbon dioxide. But it's currently got oxygen there. But that's okay, because everything around it is currently oxygen. So basically that's exactly the point. That at this point we can have this guy stop. But if all of that is oxygen, everything above him is oxygen, then don't worry, buddy. We can let the ferns sort of work on the rest of that. Possibly my positioning of that light isn't too great. Let me know if you think it should be somewhere else or if that's a good idea. Give me some validation if I do do something right. <laughs> Hey, we got all quick down to, to do that automation wire, but then come picking up all this stuff over here. What are we doing? Just stand in Ashcan's room? Come on. Guilt levels increasing. All right, what if we do this? If we go dig across here. Ladder straight up to there. Don't take me too high too quick. So let's cancel that. We'll go... Cancel that all again, we'll go one square further down. Is that right? Just stand on top of that? Yeah, that's okay. There you go, fellas. Now it's up to someone to bust you out of there. down to the bottom of that. So now it's out of my hands and it's in the hands of the dupes. If a dupe wants to go save him, so be it. Got another normal Draco in there. I think I am losing my normal Dracos, or sorry, my glossy Dracos to lame normal looking Dracos. Which does increase the priority need of this. Get going. You need copper ore. Do I have copper ore? Could I manufacture a cold biome? Like, I realize that these guys are just sitting in negative 34 degrees, but what if I was to build a room and put a whole bunch of wheeze ward in it. Look at that. They're straight on it. And look at these guys, they're right against it too. Race against time. That sand's just gonna collapse on them. Just having a chat about your bed. Not slacking off at the moment. You are really trying to save him. Okay. So I say here. If I was to build... I mean... 
This spot feels like it's close to my base, but actually it's it's very far away. If you wanted to walk there from either of the entrances, you've got to come from either all the way up there. Uh, and speaking of, you have a fire pole that runs that length too. Let's uh, deconstruct that square. Let's go and we'll put a fire pole at the top of that. Thank you. So, but I don't mean... Otherwise it would be in this cold biome here, but then that's going to be a lot of a distance to bring the... Put them just here, I suppose. Just depends on how much heat a lot of heat is. I do feel like this is... This is too far down. So we're going to deconstruct that and cancel that. We'll keep the floor. learn from my mistakes on this one. Let's see what happens. So obviously if I put it there, it's already going to be on top of that piping. Let's put it there. And let's put the polymer press there for now. Let's learn from doing a lot of water in that section. Only the water could get down and get sucked away, but I realize it's the uh, the lighter thing that polluted water is, is denser, I guess. Oh, they're still still working towards it. full here too. It's funny. It means we don't even need this water. Now I'm just doing it out of spite. if this guy will just heat up my water a bit being directly under it. I, mean, I could always insulate the bottom of it. Oh, see, they went too quick and now they can't get rid of that one. So, let's um, take one, two... It's considering that I have to put a lock on that airlock there, but I don't because no one can get to it. You can't can't come this way and, and pass through it. You'd have to come through this way to get in there. And even then you wouldn't jump that gap, so no one's gonna actually do it except to, to dig. That pipe never got put in. It's um put a ladder across there, although I can't put one there. Alright, let's cancel that. Let's just do a weird little from the bottom up. I mean, they'll be in spacesuits anyway, so the water won't bother them. Well, 
Now, disable him. You're in the water, buddy. You're in the water still. Just keep going down the hill. Keep working. <laughs> keep flipping. Buddy, you got to figure this out. Alright, let's... Not the pipe. The pump we can deconstruct. And ironically, we will now use this escaped path for these guys down here to get our next sort of polluted water when we need it. Come on, buddy, you can work this out. Hope they can climb down ladders. <laughs> Really quick on building that oil refinery. Be a really passion project to someone. Guys also still aren't. As long as they don't have to move any further down, then they're not going to. Alright, here's what I'm going to do to try and encourage these guys to, to move along. So I'm going to steadily build. Uh, let's cancel those two. I'm going to steadily build a wall at them so that it'll push this water along. really get the priority and these guys are all just to be moving on that. So I'm sure if it comes to another uh, another session I'm just going to forget that I set that up. What was your plan there Mima? We went all the way down then what it became break time so you had to go all the way back up. Okay, so I guess um, as we end day one, uh, 307 here, my two big questions are, I guess, is this fine? Um, I did ask something before that I can't recall. Anyone have any idea why that's wor not working? Uh, feel free to, to mention it. I don't know what's changed, so I, I, I thought it should still be fine. Um, and... Uh, what was the other thing? Um, I thought I had one more thing I was going to ask about. I guess, what do I store the oil in? Uh, when, when I get the oil from the bottom, is that just going to be in a, in a storage bin? Or do I need a proper, uh, like, liquid facility or... What's the, uh, what's the need there? Alright. But until next time, we still have some alive Paku. We haven't killed them. Even though they are needing to, to slowly work their way down. One got big. And, uh... <laughs> you can get there, fellas. We're gonna push the water along. Um... And yeah, I guess until next time, I'll, um... Catch you later. See ya.